Little Johnny and a little girl are playing. Johnny pulls down his shorts and says I have one of these and you don't. The little girl starts crying and crying and runs home to her mother. The next day, Johnny and the girl are playing together again. Once again, Johnny points to his private parts and says I have one of these and you don't. But this time the little girl just keeps playing. How come you're not crying today? Asks Johnny. My mother told me, says the girl, pulling up her dress. That with one of these, I can get as many of those as I want. Oh my gosh. They're gonna say like mother, like daughter, aren't they? <gasps> I told my wife I bet she can't say something that will make me both happy and sad at the same time. Oh, oh no. She told me I have the biggest penis out of all of my friends. Surely that will make you more sad than happy. What do women and a happy meal have in common? What? They both come with a toy inside them. What? No, we don't. No, we don't. That's, that's late. I'm joking. I was going to say I'm joking now because I'm going to I'm going to get told off. A woman posts an ad in the newspaper that looks like this. Looking for man with these qualifications, won't beat me up, or run away from me and is great in bed. She got lots of phone calls replying to her ad but met someone perfect at her door one day. The man she met said, Hi, I'm Bob. I have no arms so I won't beat you up and no legs so I won't run away. So the lady says, What makes you think you are great in bed? Bob replies, I rang the doorbell didn't I? Oh! Because <gasps> he got a big dick. Like a Coke can. Hey, yeah, he's pretty girthy, aye. Yeah. Soft. No, it's hard. <laughs> this is so awkward. No, it's hard. No, it sounds weird. No. Right. I'm not eating him while I can't. Thank a brunette, you. a redhead and a blonde were robbing a supermarket when a police officer walked in. The three women decide to hide in three potato sacks. The cop kicks the first one and the brunette says meow. The cop thinks it's a cat. He yeah. kicks the second bag and the redhead goes woof, woof. The cop thinks it's a dog. He kicks the third bag and the blonde yells. Potato. What is potato? What do you mean potato? I'm sorry. Potato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a potato. <laughs> a father has three daughters of dating age. One Saturday night, he hears a knock at the door. He answers to see a young man, who says hi I'm Eddie, I'm here for Betty. We're going out for spaghetti. Is she ready? The father nods and calls her down. Another young man knocks on the door and says hi I'm Joe, I'm here for Flo. We're going to the show. Is she ready to go? The father nods and calls her down. After a while he hears another knock on the door. The young man says hi, I'm Chuck. The father punches him in the face. Hi, I'm Chuck. Fuck! Hi, I'm Chuck. I'm taking your daughter to fuck. Hey, Beba, I'm looking for treasure. Oh, what? Well, like at the beach? That's nice. Can I search your chest? You didn't mean at the beach. Oh. <laughs> My girlfriend got a tattoo of a seashell on her inner thigh. A seashell? Aww, that's nice. Every time I put my ear up to it, I can smell the ocean. Aww. I thought you could hear the ocean with the seashell and you can smell it as well. Huh, that's so cool. You don't mean that, do you? You, you didn't... A few months after his parents divorced, little Johnny passed by his mom's bedroom and saw her rubbing her body and moaning, I need a man, I need a man. One day, he came home from school and heard her moaning. When he peeked into her bedroom, 
he saw a man on top of her. Little Johnny ran into his room, took off his clothes, threw himself on his bed, started stroking himself, and moaning, Oh, I need a bike. I need a bike. <laughs> What do I need? I need an N3. I need an N3. IQ test. Okay. A farmer has 15 sheep. All of them except 9 go into the forest. Okay. How many are left in the field? 6. 6. 15 minus 9, 6. Why are you saying I'm wrong? I'm not wrong. It's 15 minus 9 is 6. What do you mean? I don't understand. Just swallow it in one. <laughs> Remember that remember that trick? <laughs> Why did I make that noise? Why did I make that noise? I'm going! Bye! I'm ending the video. I've cringed too much now. I've cringed. Okay, bye, see you later. <laughs> I'm dead! I'm dead, I can't! Do you want to play Lion Tamer? What's that? It's when you get on all fours and put my head in your mouth. How are you going to fit your head in my mouth? My mouth's this big and your head's this big. Or whatever size head you've got. I don't know. Some people have bigger heads than the others. He means his D head. Oh. oh. No. Little Johnny's classmate tells him that most adults are hiding at least one dark secret and to blackmail them by saying, I know the whole truth. Little Johnny decides to go home and try it out on his mother, and he tells her, I know the whole truth. His mother hands him $20 and says, just don't tell your father. The boy waits for his father to get home from work, and greets him with, I know the whole truth. The father hands him $40 and says, don't say a word to your mother. The next day Johnny is on his way to school he sees the mailman at his front door and greets him by saying, I know the whole truth. The mailman immediately drops the mail, opens his arms, and says, then come give your daddy a great big hug. Oh! A man and his son stumble upon two dogs humping, the little boy asks his dad what the dogs are doing, he explains that they're making puppies. Later that night, the man and his wife are going at it hot and heavy in the bedroom. The boy asks daddy what are you and mommy doing? His father says, we were making babies son. The boy shouts quick dad roll her over. I'd rather have puppies. Johnny goes to school and the teacher says, today we are going to learn multi-syllable words. Does anybody have an example of a multi-syllable word? Johnny waves his hand, me, Miss Rogers, me, me. Miss Rogers says, all right, Johnny, what is your multi-syllable word? Johnny says, masturbate. Miss Rogers smiles and says, wow, Johnny, that's a mouthful. Johnny replies, no, Miss Rogers, you're thinking of a blowjob. Of course Johnny would say that. <laughs> Men are superior. We can direct blood flow with only the power of our minds. How? How? How do you do that? Uh, oh yeah, 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 you can. Yeah. A girl realized that she had grown hair between her legs. She got worried and asked her mom about that hair. Her mom calmly said, that part where the hair has grown is called monkey, be proud that your monkey has grown hair. The girl smiled. At dinner, she told her sister my monkey has grown hair. Her sister smiled and said, that's nothing, mine is already eating bananas. A mother asks her son what he did at school. Little Johnny replies, I had sex with my teacher. When the father returns home that evening, the mother tells him what Johnny had done. A huge grin spreads across his face. The father tells Johnny that he is so proud of him, and he is going to reward him with the bike he has been asking for. At the store, the dad asks his son if he would like to ride his new bike home. Johnny responds, No thanks dad, my butt still hurts. Oh no! Oh. 
two five-year-old boys were standing in the boys' room, taking a leak. One boy looks at the other and say, you know, my dad has two of those. The other boy asks, what do you mean, two? The first boy responds, my dad has a little short one that he uses to go pee, and he also has a great, big, long one that he uses to brush mummy's teeth. <laughs> Great big long one. Hey, Lisa's a grower. A total naked woman rushed in a taxi. The taxi driver turned back and stared at her so keenly. The woman asked the taxi driver, Why are you staring at me that way? Haven't you ever seen a naked woman? The taxi driver replied, No, I just wonder where you have my money. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's got it in her cra in her crack. like a purse. <laughs> one day there were two boys playing by a stream. One of the boys saw a bush and went over to it. The other boy went over to the bush and looked. They were both looking at a woman bathing naked in the stream. All of a sudden, the second boy took off running. The first boy took off after his friend. He caught up to him and asked why he ran away. My mom told me if I ever saw a naked lady, I would turn to stone, and I felt something getting hard, so I ran. Last week was my birthday. My wife didn't wish me a happy birthday. Oh? My parents forgot and so did my kids. Oh. I went to work and even my colleagues forgot. As I entered my office, my secretary said, happy birthday, boss. I felt so special. She asked me out for lunch. After lunch, she invited me to her apartment. We went there and she said, Do you mind if I go into the bedroom for a minute? Okay, I said. She came out five minutes later with a birthday cake. My wife, my parents, my kids, my friends, and my colleagues all yelling, surprise. While I was waiting on the sofa, naked. And that's the story how you got a divorce. Oh my gosh. A farmer is lying in bed with his wife. When he turns to her, he grabs her tits and says, Honey, if you could get milk out of these then we could sell the cow. He then grabs her pussy and says, Honey, if you could get eggs out of here then we could sell the chickens. She turns to him, smiles, then grabs his dick and says, Honey, if you could get this up then we could sell the horse. Ew, what? Ew, no, not the horse. Oh my gosh. Maria, a devout Catholic, got married and had 15 children. Wow. After her first husband died, she remarried and had 15 more children. Wow. A few weeks after her second husband died, Maria also passed away. Oh. At Maria's funeral, the priest looked skyward and said, at last, they're finally together. Her sister sitting in the front row said, excuse me, father, but do you mean she and her first husband, or she and her second husband? Mm. The priest replied, I mean her legs. <laughs> been heck. If you rearrange the letters of postman, they get really angry. Men post. Postman? A few moments later. Oh. Oh. A woman asks her husband, What did you think of me when you first met me? The husband replies, I wanted to shag your brains out and suck your tits dry. The woman then asks, What do you think of me now? To which the husband replies, I think I did a pretty good job. Too much information, okay? It's too much. Don't need to know. So I'm kinda stuck in this dilemma. I've been with my girlfriend for nine months, and our relationship is great. But she has the same name as my older sister. I know it's just my mind playing tricks. But each time we have sexy time, I can't help but think of my girlfriend. A woman playing golf hit a man nearby. He put his hands together between his legs, fell on the ground and rolled around in pain. 
She rushed to him and offered to relieve his pain as she was a doctor. Reluctantly he agreed. She gently took his hands away. Unzipped his pants and put her hands inside. She massaged him tenderly for a few minutes and asked, How does it feel? He replied, Feels great but I still think my thumb is broken. <laughs> Naughty man! <laughs> a woman goes into labor with her child. The doctor says that they have invented a new device to transfer the pain of childbirth to the father. He asks if it is okay to use the new device. The couple agrees and so he turns the pain to the father to 10%. The man feels nothing. They then bump it up to 20%. He still feels nothing. They keep doing this until they have the machine up to 100%. The man still felt nothing so they go home happy, until they find the milkman dead on the porch. <laughs> Why is it always the milkman? <laughs> oh no. Can you spell fat and then spell her, and put the words together? F-A-T H-E-R Put the words together Fatter Fatter A few moments later You got her It's father No 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 The oh, fuck it is <laughs> A guy walks into a sperm bank wearing a ski mask and holding a gun. He goes up to the nurse and demands her to open the sperm bank vault. But sir, it's just a sperm bank, she says. I don't care, open it now. He replies. So she opens the vault and the guy says, take one of those sperm samples and drink it. She looks at him, but they are sperm samples. Do it, he said. So the nurse sucks it back. That one there, drink it as well. Finally after four samples the man takes off his ski mask and says, See honey, it's not that hard. Oh, it's his wife! <laughs> Ladies, it is amazing how you do that, with milk coming out of your nipple, did you know that? Huh? Guys, we can't do it. Because if we could, we'd spend the whole time squirting each other. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, you probably would actually. Um, <laughs> just like, like, yeah, yeah, I can imagine it. Come. There was a cat by the lake and a sausage came floating by. The cat put its paw in the lake and wet its paw. Then a few minutes later a bigger sausage came floating by and the cat fell in. The moral of this story is, the bigger the sausage, the wetter the pussy. They say you should treat people the way you want to be treated. Okay. They call it the golden rule. Yeah. But personally, I don't recommend that because at the end of the day, you're just giving out free blowjobs for nothing in return. Oh my gosh. Two nuns are riding bicycles down a path of steps. One looks around and says, I've never come this way before. The other nun replies, it must be the steps. Well of, well, of course it's the steps if she's not been that way before. No, the steps are making her come. Oh, because it's like... <laughs> that was the best time the nun ever had in her life. <laughs> A woman goes to her doctor and says she wants an operation because her vagina lips are too large. She asks the doctor to keep the operation a secret as she's embarrassed and doesn't want anyone to find out. The doctor agrees. She wakes up from her operation and finds three roses carefully placed beside her bed. Outraged, she immediately calls in the doctor and says, I thought I asked you not to tell anyone about my operation. Don't worry, he said. I didn't tell anybody. The first rose is from me. The second one is from the nurse. She assisted me with the operation. And the third rose is from the guy upstairs in the burn unit. He wanted to thank you for his new ears. A salesman rings the doorbell and little Johnny answers. Salesman says can I see your dad? Johnny replies no he's in the shower. 
The salesman asks okay what about your mother? Can I see her? Johnny replies nope she's in the shower too. The salesman asks do you think they'll be out soon? Johnny responds doubt it. When my dad asked me for the Vaseline I gave him super glue instead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want to know.